Update Boyfriend has stopped being romantic completely. Here's the link to my original post here. Original but the TL. Doctor. Boyfriend. 18M. Has completely stopped flirting with me. 18F. And I'm not sure if I'm being needy while he's at school and how I should approach him about the issue. I just want to say thank you to the original people who commented and reached out to me. I was very emotional at the time and needed some sense talked into me. That day I made the post. I was supposed to hang out with my friend and her friends. So I had sat down with them and asked for advice. They basically said the same thing everyone here did and I guess seeing their in-person reaction to me explaining everything that had happened made it click that something was really wrong. After getting over my fears of me being right, I asked him if he still wanted to be with me. While he didn't say no, he said he enjoyed his newfound independence from school and not having to worry about anyone else. This confirmed what I already knew and I knew he wouldn't directly say he didn't want to be with me anymore. But I still got my answer in a way. While I'm hurt, I think I had already grieved the relationship during it. Since I spent a lot of time crying and wondering what had happened between us. At least now I can move on instead of holding on to every small sign that he might still like me. I wish he could have just been up front sooner and just told me he didn't want a relationship when I kept trying to flirt or be romantic instead of just ignoring those moments, as it just left me confused. And I wish I could have avoided this completely but I suppose it's a lesson learned. I deserve someone who's going to reciprocate my feelings and affection. So I'm excited to see what happens now. Thank you guys for the kind words and advice. This will be a huge weight lifted from your heart before you know it. Being direct is so important and saves so much pain in the long run. Even if the experience isn't pleasant, aka is devastatingly sad. When it's happening, you're better off and you'll be just fine. Be gentle with yourself and focus on self-care and having talks with friends or finding little distractions. It's a coward's breakup. Act distant and unavailable until she breaks up with you. I've definitely been on the receiving end of it. And it shows someone way too immature to be in a relationship. One lesson I wish I had learned earlier in life. I'm 36 and happily married now. Was that if a relationship is confusing, it's not working. When in a happy functional relationship you won't feel confused. People are often cowards when it comes to breakups. They are afraid to hurt your feelings so instead they lie and conceal how they feel which ends up being even more painful. That's why you feel confused. Realizing this will make it a lot easier to know when to move on in the future and probably save a lot of heartache less than three. Hugs XOX so good on you for being brave and upfront something that's helped me in times like what you're going through is remembering that even the bad times bad relationships teach us about who and what we want in a partner relationship if you learn something from a mistake it stops being a mistake and becomes a lesson i'm sorry you're going through this up it really sucks i hope you reach out to your support system during this time and you might even want to seek a few sessions of counseling just to help you work through it. Heart hang in there. I'm so proud of you for choosing what is best for yourself and your well-being. Heart. We've all run across those types of people. Emotionally immature. When you start a relationship with someone that has communication skills, it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air. Good for you. You're still young and have all the opportunity in the world to find someone worth your while. He sounds very immature if he can't even handle being upfront and honest about how he feels in a relationship. You dodged a bullet hun. Best of luck heart. Seems like I need to take all these advices. I want to validate your feelings completely but also let you know you are 18 and there is so much 
more time to find someone who values you as a person. Never settle for any less than that. I'm around the same age as you and I had a similar experience as well last year. I'm glad that you were able to talk to him about it and figure out what his true feelings are. It must have hurt, but it's for the best as least you don't have to suffer from his mixed signals anymore. Stay strong. It might not be easy, considering you've done so much for him, but you can get through it and move on. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's not your fault. Do what makes you feel better. Like eat tubs of ice cream or something ha ha ha. I hope you overcome this like a queen. Take care. Oh my goodness. I've just gone through the exact same thing. They barely talked to me for a month. And after weeks of having to beg for basic attention and constantly worrying that I was being too needy. They dumped me over text. Slash. It really hurts not get even basic respect at the end of a relationship. But don't let it mess with your self-esteem. You can and will do better. Go enjoy your new freedom now that this coward isn't holding you back purple heart. You are so much better off. Hugs. Don't give yourself away. This is what men do instead of actually breaking up with someone. It's like ghosting but they think they aren't being a jerk because they are still technically talking to you. He is hoping you will just stop messaging him because then it will be like you broke up with him. Some men. Not all of course. Someone else is out there for you. If not now, just enjoy yourself and spoil yourself. You don't need someone else to treat you right. Treat yourself to everything you deserve. You deserve so much more. At least now you know where you stand. All the best for the future. You are super brave and at only 18. Plenty of people who are old enough to know better stay in relationships where one person has clearly lost interest. I hope you know that you are better off without this boy. And you will eventually meet someone awesome who really deserves you. In the meantime enjoy being single. And keep being awesome. Ugh, people like this are awful for not just wasting your time but wasting your heart and affection onto bigger and better things. Many people break up in ways that are half-truths or put onus on their partners to weasel out a truth. Emo it's not fair and I'm sorry this happened to you. I genuinely hope in the long run this will make space in your life for someone that is truly loving and considerate. I will send you all of my good vibes. Also know that it's totally normal to be upset about this, but that it will pass. I'm sorry, y'all are still so young and it takes a lot of time to get the communication thing right. You deserve better. Some good lessons I learned were, don't settle for anything. If things start feeling wrong speak up and if the other person dismisses your feelings, leave that's a red flag. Even if they don't agree you can still talk about it together. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.